This is a demonstration of entity interpolation, or really it's just an attempt to see how little data we can send from a server to a game and still have a nice playable multiplayer game. I've set up a few um, experiments here. Here's a view of the, the game world. Uh, the blue dots are NPCs, the red dot is going to be us. Each one of these crowds of NPCs, um, when we get near it, the server is going to change how frequently it sends us data and we're going to get to look at the group of NPCs and see what it looks like in its raw state of just pure data from the server and we're going to see what my hopefully decent interpolation code can do to make it look smooth despite the missing pieces of data. Here is the game. I'm going to zoom in on it just by zooming in on the browser window which hopefully doesn't get too blurry and we're going to run off and go find the first crowd. So here's the first group here. It's three guys running back and forth. At this point we're getting 20 updates from the server, which is the max speed that the server goes. Um, there's no real lag. This is assuming no lag. This is the ideal state. I'm going to turn on and off the entity interpolation code and there's be almost no difference with off, on and off. Um, just because the server is sending us so much information that you can practically draw an animation out of it um, without doing anything fancy. I'm going to run onwards to the next group with entity interpolation turned off and we'll we'll see a new case. So here is the next group. Um, here they are with entity interpolation. So this is it smooth, this is it not smooth. This is 15 updates a second. It looks pretty good either way. I mean you can definitely see a little bit of chop with entity interpolation off, but 15 updates a second is plenty good. On to the next group. Here we have a nice pink strip of missing texture and 10 updates per second. This is it with interpolation and here is without. I'd say this is the first case where you can you can really see it without. You can see that they're skipping short short distances um, each step and that's 100 milliseconds uh, between each update when it's 10 updates per second. So that's about the ping from East Coast, West Coast uh, in the United States. The next group will give us um, five updates per second. Here's, uh, here's what that looks like in its raw state. They jump pretty far. It's still easy to follow any given character with the eye and see um, that they're moving, but it's, I, I don't know, I wouldn't call it an animation really. Uh, with interpolation on, it's perfectly smooth. The next group will give us two and a half updates per second, which is a weird number. That's 400 milliseconds, which is pretty long time. Definitely humanly perceivable. Um, the raw state of the data looks like this, which is very jumpy. This one, I'd say it's beginning to get hard to see what's happening without um, the interpolation to smooth it. This next group gives us one update per second. This is one of the ones I'm most impressed with because the raw state of the data looks like this, which which to me doesn't look like anything. It looks like a mess. Um, I, I can kind of track a guy if I keep my eye on him, but uh, it doesn't look good, and yet I'm surprised how good it looks with entity interpolation. It does have a few problems. These guys are patrolling back and forth, and um, as one reaches the edge or the spot where they pivot and turn, that's a, a point where you'd like to know about that immediately, and we don't necessarily know that. You know, it's within a one second window, so it's possible. I see you guys kind of moonwalk a little bit right when they get to the edge there. That um, guy hits the spot and he turns, and it's not at a point that we get any data about him. So, I don't know. We're missing a little bit here, but I'm, I'm overall I'm surprised how good it looks at one second between updates, which is a twentieth the speed that this is really designed to go. The next group, which might be the last, is um, even worse. So is this the last group? Yeah, this is the last group I made. These guys are, um, you get one update every three seconds, which by most standards is, is disconnected. Um, the raw data for that looks like this, which pretty much looks like you're crashed. When I turn on the smoothing, it, it looks like things are happening because everything gets all you know smooth and animated. But in truth, I'd say it's—I'd I'd say this doesn't really work. Um, 
half of them are moonwalking. You know, they've they've turned around according to the server, but we're you know we're interpolating between one spot they were in and another spot, and uh, we don't even know which direction they faced. And I'd say maybe in three seconds it's possible that some of the faster characters here, because they all have a random speed, some of them have probably even done a whole lap. So. Um, it's definitely concealing a lot of what's happening. What I do like about this, even though it's slow, is I think it, there might actually be a use case for it. Um, let's say you've got a town in your game and players congregate in the town, which is pretty common in MMOs, um, and that's perhaps the most crowded area, so it's the area where the server really throttles itself down to something, hopefully not as bad as this, three updates, or one update every three seconds. But if it was this bad, um, this interpolation is only really having a problem with these guys turning and pivoting. If people were holding still and you're just trying to find your friend in the crowd and you find your friend and then your friend walks off in a straight line, uh, you would see that and you'd be able to follow them. The only issue is um, what you're seeing is current three seconds or occurred three seconds ago. But, you know, for being the worst case, it's pretty good. Hopefully one doesn't ever have to get here. But overall, I'm impressed with how much entity interpolation is smoothed over particularly the case right before this, which is one update per second, one twentieth the speed that I thought the game would need to go, and um, looks pretty good. In any case, I'm going to be experimenting with this a lot more, and I'll upload another video when I uh, do some more netcode. Thanks for watching.